What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like we, we never left. left. Shout out to the Real and Family. We appreciate all y'all for pulling up, tuning in. Yeah. This is going to be a big one right here. This is It's going to get hot. It's about to heat up tonight because we're checking out the Born Supremacy. Uh, this is 2004. This is the follow-up to the Born Identity. Yeah, which was actually really, really good. So I enjoyed it. I, I did too, a lot. It was like a nice thriller action thriller through the entire movie. Yeah. And y'all were telling us in the comment section <laughs> that we'll find out like a lot of the questions, the answers to the questions that we had on the first one. But, show that movie had me on the edge of my seat. Man, I'm trying to tell you, the, the, <laughs> the, way, that Matt Damon, the way that Matt Damon elbowed that dude, I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> five years later, the guy's still feeling the elbow. Yeah, right. Because I'm trying to tell you, Matt Damon, he really, really put on like a great performance for Born Identity. Yeah. And then for it to be a trilogy and it just carries on, I can't wait to see where the story goes. I hope this one is as good as the first one because the first one was just, man, that was a banger. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what y'all think, but I really enjoyed that. And for us that had never had seen it before, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, yeah. I can't believe we waited this long, but we've been on the sequel train. So, The Born Identity <laughs> definitely set the stage for this one. And, hey, y'all, we locked and loaded. We're ready to go. Yeah, okay. So, if y'all didn't see or catch the first uh, reaction we did to the first one, make sure y'all go back and tap it and check it out. I'll try to put it, like, right here when it pops up. You know how it pop up on the video and stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to be all fancy if I remember. But, okay, that's not a guarantee. However, <laughs> make sure y'all... We'll make sure that... It, yeah. <laughs> right? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon posts, and access to all of our TV series as well. All over on Patreon. Absolutely. Y'all can also... Go to our website, AsianBJ.com. Okay, tap in. Y'all can see the whole list of reactions of everything we've done on YouTube and also on our Patreon channel. The whole well. list? The whole list. The whole list. It's all there. Okay. Absolutely. So, y'all tap in. All of that to say, I can't wait any longer. You ready? Let's get into it. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm, ready. I'm pumped up for this. Let's go. Don't even, hey, don't, don't even hold me out any longer. <laughs> Okay, y'all, here we go. Okay, that's right. It was 2004. I was just making sure. Okay. Alrighty. Supremacy. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be good. <laughs> I don't think we watched anything with Matt Damon in it. It mm -hmm. had been good. This is not a drill, soldier. This is a live project. A year ago, training is over. Training is over. Oh, was he in the military? I don't know. That's probably why he's affiliated with the government. Like how he is affiliated? Yeah, he's part of the government. I don't yeah, know. but it started there. It was almost like he was born and bred to do what he does. Yeah. You're burning up. What do you say? I think he said, uh, I'm standing. Oh. I can hear Conklin's voice. And there's that photograph. But I just can't stay with it. But you're sure it's not just it a bed? It was a mission. And I was there. You should write it down. Hmm. It's always bad, and now it's just the same thing over and over again. But that's why we write it down. Because sooner or later, you remember something good. Oh, right, because he still, he didn't, he doesn't remember. Yeah, that number was like, more like a flashback. Yeah. Or something that actually really happened. And it's so nice. Yeah, Just close right to the yesterday, the I know. Yeah. Sound of the water. I know, I love it. Uh-oh. Some, something about to happen. <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> the music is going down. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Got what? 
What does he have? Uh oh. Oh, that can't be good. Pub, Mobile One, and Seller have entered the office. Ooh. This is everything? My first name, not Benjamin. Uh oh, somebody about to be in pieces. They're about to be in shambles. Oh, they cut they. Those are shots. So everyone, I need to know what happened. Get some men in there right now. Hold up. Either that was a double cross or a triple cross. Audio Audio get some, Are you I'm sorry. <laughs> they ain't expect that to happen. What just happened? Right, so I'm trying to figure out. They cut the power <laughs> and then they cut somebody like something. Right. Who sent who? It's what i Получишь остальное, я когда закончу. Я весь мой душ. Самолет летает через час. Самолет ждет. Is that the same lady from the first Born Identity? I don't think it is. It's not. Because she was more French, I think. Yeah, she had an accent. Because remember at the end of the movie, they, they met, I think they was in Santorini or something. Yeah. Either Santorini or they were in Mykonos somewhere over there. At the end of the movie? Yeah. I think that's her. You think so? I think so. She just has hair now. That's her. Yeah, that's her for sure. Well, why she ain't got no accent? Drown <laughs> 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 and boating accident. Who was I? I want to go back and look through the book. Yeah, that notebook. <laughs> I need to see what it all said. He's my friend. I wonder if you've seen him. Don't tell, don't tell. That's Jason. Oh, no. Why he, why, but why he looking for Jason, though? Same reason why they was looking for him before. Was... <laughs> and she out walking around, too. Yeah, maybe where he's at, he's hiding out. Gotta be. Trying to stay low. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey. Get in. What's wrong? We're blown. We pushed it. We got lazy. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, he see him. Well, how it's just wrong. Sure? The guy, the car he's driving, what he's wearing, it's just wrong. Got him, coach. Oh, man. You're going to drive. Switch. Let's head to the bridge. Wait. <laughs> Wait. You remember we did that one time? We, well, we did something like similar like that in the car one time. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that little switcheroo. Huh, the car, the car can't go there. Uh oh, ooh, package. He got the package. But that was smart for him to go off road too. Wow. What if it's not who you think it it's is? It's them. It's Treadstone. Did it Marie, do it? I told them what would happen if they didn't leave us alone. You don't have a choice. Yes, you do. Oh my god. Oh, did he shoot her? He did, didn't he? Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, they're going down so fast. Come on, please, 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 please. Oh no. Oh no. No. Is he leaving? Marie? 
Damn. Oh gosh. That gotta be the hardest thing to do right there. I just can't believe it. They will get in the way. Man, why do you always look so stone faced? <laughs> that be looking so Damn. hard though. Yeah, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay. You know what? When they put that tape on her, I saw that fingerprint on it. I did too. Now one of them failed. The fingerprints from the one that didn't go on. And the Germans can't match it? No, nobody's got it. We checked out every database we could access, but we're hooked. <sighs> Run it. Okay. Oh, this oh. is Treadstone Project. Access denied. We're going to Langley. That's G5 classified. <laughs> That's what? G5 classified. That's G13 classified. G13. <laughs> <laughs> what is, is that what you said? G5? I always say G13. Okay. <laughs> G13. He born. It's Jello. Do we arrange to on Mia? I should beat him anymore. Yes, Jello is for Dotty Haitio. Born. Pug. He gonna get in trouble. He said the files, the fingerprint. That's why you scored her. She has Mia says. Oh, he gonna get in big trouble. But also remember. Jason saw him too. So he knows what he looks like. With him saying that the job is done. Look at his eyes. That's the girl. That was her? I think so. I think so too. She had dark hair. knew that he was there though like how they tracked him yeah it's one of us who is it what can you tell me about treadstone treadstone that's where the trail dead ends if you want an answer you're gonna have to give me a level five sci access we have a lead we've got your clearance but you're on a very short leash you give a full report to the group i want to know where you're going with this sir it's almost like there's two different types of agencies Cause she remember they were talking to each other like the cia yeah. and then another one because when they pulled the fingerprints and it didn't come up and then they brought up the treadstone mm -hmm. oh how would it be his fingerprint they, they put it there, though. Remember when he was doing whatever he was doing? Mm -hmm. He put those fingerprint there. Oh, I remember he died. At the end. During the buy, both our case officer and the seller were killed. They were killed by Jason Bourne. They're ready for us upstairs. <laughs> he sure trying to make sure she ran into a dead end. Um, no, I think he shook. <laughs> Cause she, she finna do some digging. Well, that, but I think they thought that Jason might have been dead uh, again. Big enough to bring Bourne out from hiding to kill again. How's that scan? Look, you're not gonna believe this. Jason Bourne's passport just popped up on the grid in Naples. Mm. Oh. Hey, everybody. Contact Naples. They need to know who they're dealing with. Find out what kind of local assets we have in place there. You see how fast that word travel, boy. That's what I'm trying to <laughs> tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Warren, I'm Nevins. Just have a few questions for you. You're coming out of Tangiers, is that correct? What's the uh, nature of your visit to Naples? All up in my business. <laughs> Lawyer, please. <laughs> uh oh. You better leave him alone. Look, I don't know what you did, and I don't know who you're working for, but I promise you this you're going to play ball one way or the other. Sheesh. Yeah, they like to intimidate you. They like to get out close to you. Yeah. He's an agency priority target. I understand. Damn. Just no game. Man. 
And he he smooth cold. He he knocked out cold. We get your little stupid phone. Oh, bingo. Oh, that was slick. Here's the number. He's being interrogated by a field officer out. <laughs> he was. When I say was, I'm talking past tense. This is Pamela Landy, CI supervisor. Where do we stand? I think he got away. Damn it. <laughs> I'm getting on a plane to Berlin in 45 minutes. And when I asked you where we stand, I had better be impressed. <laughs> That's all. You see how he tapped his phone that quick? I want you both on that plane. We are all of us going to do what we were either too lazy or inept to do the last time around. I'm going to find this son of a bitch and take him down. Mm. Is that definitive enough for you? Yes. <laughs> they put it. I want that area secure. I want any evidence secured, and I want it done right now. See, at least he knows why they're after him now. Yeah. The people that she's talking about, I think, are those guys on the very first one. Remember, he walked up to the to the thing and they told him to come to the back. Mm -hmm. And he ended up going out the window and down the building and into the car. But remember, he killed those two soldiers. Yeah. I think that's who she's talking about. Because he was in Berlin, remember? Mm-hmm. Please, nobody jump. Please, please. never fails no I think he's going to Berlin so he can figure out what happened because you know it's like he's being framed right now yeah they, they definitely set him up yeah and planted those fingerprints right there Amsterdam <laughs> they go looming I love her hair color, though. Yeah, right? Physical symptoms, a headache, sensitivity to light. Amnesia? Before born? No. Plane's ready. There's a car waiting for you. Good luck. Snow. See? You were with him the night Conklin died. You're coming with us. <laughs> she said, you coming with us. Never to let her ride in his sight. If it's over, then why are they still after me? Ever heard the name Pamela Landy? Pamela Landy in Berlin. What's I, going on in Berlin? I don't know. Why would I lie? <laughs> to save your life. Right. Right, that part. But yeah, Jason, he like two years late. I thought you were here to kill me. What'd you do? I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you call it in? Get up. Come on. You need to walk faster than that. The keys are in my coat pocket. But we should what? Go out the back. I have not. Uh -oh. uh -oh. He getting busy with them elbows though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh not, not, not that. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. It's about to go down now. Somebody going through the window. Are we going together? Oh, he breaking them down. He breaking them down. He breaking them down. Oh no! Oh! Oh jeez! Oh, got him, coach. Did it slow. Took him out slow. Okay. Time to go. Oh, I thought he was about to fly out that window. Uh, I just knew it. Man, he broke that boy down. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> when I say he broke him down, he broke him down to the last compound. Man. Bon voyage. <laughs> 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 
knew that was coming. We had a lift off. I knew it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I knew that was about to be bad. What's crazy is like, I would think somebody that's like running like that would like do something to hide their identity, like mm -hmm. change their hair or cut it or grow it. <laughs> he walking around as himself. The same way, yeah. Maybe somebody like that put a wig on. Uh oh. What? Shoot, Jason, he like, I'm not hiding from nobody. Literally in plain sight. So you think he went there and showed his face like this to lure them to come? No. Like that? No. I don't think so. Right now he just he just on a search for answers right now. Cause cause now, now you see he back in Berlin, so mm -hmm. They about to go find Pam. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like he called somebody. He about to pull up somewhere on somebody. Pam Landy. That's what we looking for. The lady. The Weston. Yeah, he called the Weston. That's the only thing I understood. <laughs> no more Landy. This is Jason Bourne. Bourne? It's Bourne. What do you want? <laughs> Are you running Treadstone? Treadstone was closed down two years ago. You know that. Then who's planning the missions now? There are no missions. It's over. Then what do you want with me? Have you forgotten what happened in Berlin? You killed two people, born. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. I want to come in. I need someone I know to bring me in. Who? There was a girl in Paris, part of the program. I used to handle the Alexander Strasse. 30 minutes, under the world clock. Send her alone, give her your phone. What if I can't find her? It's easy. She's standing right next to you. <laughs> Then he just hung up. Gone like the wind. That's cold. That's a cold line. It's some sort of protest march. <laughs> he gotta be out there somewhere. Go, Delta, move now. Uh oh. You know what I thought they were about to do? What? I thought he was gonna tell her to get on the train because they were gonna follow her and he was gonna. Come out of nowhere and do what he needed to do to go. Yeah, and it's just crazy. That He's gone. God damn it. It's just crazy. He moved like a ghost. Please don't hurt me. My words. What did I say? Leave me alone. Hey, I swear, Jason, I, I told them that I believed you. Did he run Treadstone? Yes, Conklin reported to him. Please, please, I swear. Conklin, stuff on Conklin. It was something to do with a Russian politician. <laughs> oh. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. Nesky. What? What are you talking about? In Berlin. I did a job here. You know my file. Oh, you've never worked Berlin before. My first job. No, your first assignment was Geneva. You fucking Nikki! Nikki! You're not in your file. It's like <laughs> It's like he knows because of those flashbacks, but... I'm convinced that Bourne knows something. He knows that you're after him. And in the interest of self-preservation, you might start with that. Check on those photos that have gone out. Man, I could not be like a detective like that. I could, that <laughs> just couldn't be my job. They're not going to come for me. Too much of a stressful job for you? Yeah, I, I'd be watching over my shoulder every second. That's a fact. <laughs> Got the Addy. Drop the location. What if Bourne didn't have anything? Show me the job. <laughs> oh! The second you find out too much, you think he'll you, you think he'll start to sniff it all out? Yeah. He was starting to sniff it but all it, out. It was. And man. he got snuffed out. Yeah. No. Now I'm now I'm real confused. Actually, is room uh, 645 available? I've stayed there before. How about room 644? It's right across the hall. It's fine. I just need your passport and the signature right here, please. I wish it was that fast. <laughs> no, you know they got to read you all the stuff. And... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Table time checkout is. Training is over. Wow, that, that was training. Uh oh. See you later. Time to go. Time to Try to tell you, he moved like a phantom, like a ghost in the night. That'll really work. What the hell is he doing here? Just stay the night. Then it's just like he did. He just disappear and blend into the night. Yeah. Oh, not so fast. Boy, Jason want to live, don't he? <laughs> Jason wanna live. I'm trying to tell you when self-preservation kick in. <laughs> oh, she's gonna make it, baby. Go make it. Oh shoot. You kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Look where he at. Look where he at. <laughs> You're not gonna find him up in there. <laughs> oh, that fall. He must have torn it like a meniscus or sprained an ACL or PCL or MC something. That was a long jump. Close. It make you want to take a deep breath. No, <laughs> and the music too. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> She's back at the West, and Bourne let her go. He let her go. Yeah. Where's Danny Zorn? He ought to head over there and debrief her. Why did Bourne come? We don't know yet. He's upstairs in one of the rooms. She said she'd call you when she's done. Okay. Is he just playing dumb? Yeah, I think so. I think I'll uh, take a cab back to the hotel. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You think he's just playing dumb, or do he, or, or he know why he came back to the hotel? He, Cause, Cause right now I can't put nothing past him. Hmm. Why would he come in here? Yeah. I thought this room was occupied. And from a photo, there was a chalk outline right here on the body of Vladimir Nesky. This is where his wife killed him. You still think his wife killed him? Because he got out through this window. We just got word from the Berlin police. We found Danny Zorn's body. I want you two to stay on board. Check everything that's out there. Call that, but tell him to wait for me in his hotel. I'm coming to see him. Zorn, the, Zorn is the person that he just killed, right? Yeah, the, that was the guy. I think in the first one when we were watching, at the very end, and he was talking. They were talking to the together to close down Treadstone. Mm -hmm. That's that's who that was, that other guy he was talking to. <clears throat> Remember he was like young, like younger? The younger guy. Yeah. You owe me. I gave you your gun. We both got rich. I don't owe you anything. Plan can still be salvaged, just get born. Do you hear me? He's still out there. Now get him. Get Jason. Man, <laughs> you get him. Beep. Basically he's saying that's your problem to worry about. It's what you are, Jason. A killer. You always will be. Go ahead. Go on. Go on. Do it. Do it. <sighs> she wouldn't want me to. It's the only reason you're alive. Ooh. Got him, coach. Man, he got him on tape, admitting to everything. Sure did. Ooh. That's a smoking gun right there. <laughs> he like that. If you don't leave me alone. Cause as we were sitting here, I was thinking, Jason need to get him. Cause he, I didn't think it was gonna be now. I thought it was gonna be at the end. Yeah, he the dirty one. Oh, and he handed him the the piece. Take care of that. <laughs> you know, I don't want your blood on my hands. Mm -mm. I'm a patriot. I serve my country. Danny Zorn, what was he? Unlucky, collateral damage. So what do we do now? I'm not sorry. That was so so abrupt and so sudden. I had a feeling he was gonna do it to himself. What? He was gonna have to. He got him on record. Mm-hmm. Okay. He dead to rights. 
<laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles. Uh, and she was innocent. Thousand percent innocent. Right. Only reason why her life was in danger because of Jason. Because of him, yeah. yeah. Go on, go on, do it, do it. The only reason you're alive. He moved fast, don't he? Got a call from Langley. Going through Abbott's records. Marshall wants to know what's going on with Bourne. Wait, Teddy? Teddy, who's this? <laughs> Nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one. Yeah. Wait, you're going to get a call. What's going on? He said that he's going to get a call. He said that he's Told you he was gonna get in trouble. Big trouble. <laughs> Cause he got the money too. That's a huge mistake. <laughs> Ain't like a said, month off. Cause like you said, he got the he got the money and everything and didn't even finish the job. You know what happens when you're on tile blue sands. When does he sleep? <laughs> Don't it seem like he just been on the go? Yeah. The whole movie look is daytime. When, you, when you're on the move and, and, and you running like how he running? You know what they say, sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> he like, <laughs> I'm about to go. I don't want no parts. Realistically speaking, mm -hmm. I feel like everybody and everybody you ask and look at and talk to and watch is not going to know who he is. They're just not. Particularly. Oh, there he go again. There he go again. Why would he do that in broad daylight? He's stupid. You only do that if you're trying to get locked up. <laughs> He's shooting at a cop, I think. <laughs> and they let him go! Oh. I thought I'm like, didn't I thought he shot him? <laughs> the Secret Service walk around like that? It's in Russia. Ain't no or telling. Germany? They in Russia, I ain't no telling. Sometimes they ain't playing clothes. With a gun in their hand. Oh. <laughs> like where they do that at? Yeah. <laughs> Shooting people down on the sidewalk. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds like. That's gonna leave a mark. And a bruise. <laughs> a concussion. You have to point them as Well, he be driving them cars, don't he? Yeah. Go, 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 go. Uh. He still can't shake him. <laughs> oh, he got T-boned. Never seen a G-Wagon in like a high pursuit <laughs> chase. A <laughs> G-Wagon. And a bumper car is in it. Sir. Hey, look. Oh, he said, I'm going to put that V8 to the test. Oh, now they're playing real life bumper cars. <laughs> That's the definition of 
Take a lick and keep on ticking. <laughs>
what they really were after at the end. Yeah. Because with him having all these visions, not necessarily visions, but yeah, you know, like these visions and these flashbacks. Yeah. Like we didn't understand that in the first in the first movie. But um, when we watched the Born Identity, like we didn't understand what he was doing and why he was having these flashbacks until we got to the end of the movie. So with this movie starting off with the flashbacks, it was almost kind of like trying to set you up for the end of the movie just to, to, to try to figure out for this hour and 48 minutes as far as like why he's having these flashbacks and, and really what, what what's the idea of what he's trying to get to at the end of the day for this whole movie. That's why Marie was having him writing all these things down in that notebook. Yeah. When he was having all, all these flashbacks, when he's saying like, when he sees the sign saying Berlin, he saw like, the hotel room, he saw like a little flash of who Nesky was, but he couldn't put it all together as far as like why he was there. He didn't even know that he was there until like the movie started going a little further and he was like, then, you know, it, it kind of confirmed that he was in Berlin or he, you know, he confirmed it himself that he was in Berlin. Yeah. And so I think then like one is obviously now we know that he was working for some type of, he was, well, it started out, he was, they said he was, was in the military. Well, he was he was working for like a, a government, uh, like a government, a part of the government as far as like the the Treadstone project. That's pretty much what all he was catered for was to, you know, that's pretty much what he was born and bred to do was to be like a professional hitter, you know. So that so that Treadstone project was basically was that it was being funded too and everything, and he was part of that whole project as far as you know if we have a job to take out. Uh, a politician or whoever it is, you're going to be one of the guys that we're going to have to do it. We're going to give you all, you know, all the materials, everything that you need, all the skills, everything that you need to get these jobs, you know, get these jobs done, mm -hmm. but to do it in a way where you'll never, ever be detected that you the one that did it. How does he not remember anything, though? I was going to ask that question, too. I don't even know. That's what I'm, I've been trying to figure that out the whole time is I'm like... How does he not remember anything? We've been trying to figure though. that out since the first, since yeah. like the first minute of the first movie. Yeah, and it seems like you said it's just like he just gets pieces, like bits and pieces of information. I almost want to say because remember he had that chip in him when they found him in the very first yeah. one. Was that more like of a tracker type? Of, if that would be my guess, is that was the way that they were tracking him, how yeah. they knew where he was. But yeah. nobody has said it to this point. Like why? His memory is gone. You know why? Why? Because they did them like men in black. Bzz. You look into the little thing and they just zap it and they just wipe your memory clean. Other than that, I don't know why why he wouldn't remember anything. But he said that that's that's what they're you know the guy that he that he um, that he tracked down. The guy said that that's what they norm that's what they do is that they wipe their memory clean. Oh. And, and the reason why they probably wipe their memory clean is because with them doing these top secret hits. Of course, they don't want them to come back and want you them to come we, back. We don't around. ever want you to to get in a precarious situation where you gotta talk and tell it. Yeah, and I think ultimately, then when they wiped his memory clean, like the whole objective was to kill him, and it, and he didn't die. But wasn't that the mission? Like at the very beginning, remember? Or at the I don't know at what point in the first one, but he started. He was on the boat with the guy. Yeah, they got him out of the sea. No, no, no. And oh, oh the guy that he took out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that guy shot him. Yeah, be, somebody, he, he got shot in the process because he because when he walked in there, the guy had his had his kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm just trying to put this together as I'm sitting there. I'm trying to, I'm like, I'm going to figure this out as yeah. we sit here and watch both movies. I'm like, okay, so he was shot. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to go back to put it together to see if I can... Yeah, yeah, he yeah, got, and I yeah, still can't get yeah, it. Yeah, he got hit when he was on the boat. Yeah, he got hit when he was on the boat, but I was just like, okay, well, that didn't have anything to do with his his memory, though. But they thought that he went on the boat like he just didn't do it, like he bailed out on the mission. But he did, though, right? Because the guy saw him and shot him. He didn't do it. Yes, yeah. Somebody else ended up doing it. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. And I feel like even with this movie... What am I missing? There's something that we're missing. By what? Like that fills in the blank. What blank? The memory part. We I feel like I don't think we've gotten to anything that, that's that, that's definitively have shown us why his memory is gone, <laughs> unless somebody can kind of fill that in. Unless that's going to be a spoiler moving forward to another movie, you know? Yeah, but, I thought. And then the guy that he ended up like catching him, he had his the voice recorder on. I thought that guy was going to last, like because 
now what? Like, how did, how yeah, their third it, movie? Because it almost felt like he was like the mastermind behind a lot of things. Yeah. At least to like the Treadstone Project and a lot of things that he was trying to cover up. Right. Um. But yeah, I, I was like you too. I thought that he was gonna probably like last to the, like the very very end of the movie. Like he was gonna be like the one guy that is that's just kind of like moving. That, that, you know, just has all these moving parts and yeah. he's like controlling all these things. Yeah, like he moving <laughs> slick too. Like nobody's catching him because nobody's catching him. Like. Mm-hmm. I thought that was like how this was gonna go, and he was gonna make it out to the end too, and <laughs> we were gonna see him in the third movie. But I guess that's not the case. Mm-hmm. So now that they're not after him, she found out everything she needed to know. Yeah, I, and I feel like this movie, the main, the main, the main plot of this movie was was to figure out why he was having those visions at the at the beginning of the movie when he woke up in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. So I feel like everything, th- this whole, and and everything kind of started. When Marie died. Because when Marie died, it was like, okay, I got to finish this. I got to figure out why. Yeah, because why? Why, why, why is he after us? Why mm-hmm. did Marie die? Like, like the why. I, I felt like that's what could really, like, propelled him to really, like, get down to the bottom to, to figure out why he's having these visions. And then, as far as, like, why they're after him. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we gotta hurry because up. Because he didn't know because one. he didn't know anything until he got hemmed up. Why did he go back and tell the girl that he killed her parents though? I wouldn't go back and tell anybody that. <laughs> again, again, <laughs> he went straight to her house. But was it was that the apartment that he went to and said, I, I need to see the, where's the girl in the apartment number and the lady was outside and the sexy cab pulled off real fast? I'm not sure. That's not the same place that he was at, right? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm I don't just, think so. I don't think I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. But but, but, I, but but why would he go back? What was the point of him going back to tell her that? I just feel like, it just, just to show you like his character there, that, okay. that he cared that much, that he, that he did something like that. Like, because that was like his first thing. That, and the guy said, you know, Conklin said this was training. And for him, you know, you, you pretty much like destroyed three people's lives and alter, you know, yeah. their daughter's lives. Yeah. And you got to feel some kind of guilt no matter who you are. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I, I feel like with him doing that, it, it just shows you like he, like Jason Bourne is like the, a real stand-up type of person as far as like just just righting the wrongs. This was good. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, I thought that, did the you like this one like, or the first one better? I'm going to say this one. I think the action was, was, was just, I was, it was just as intense <laughs> as the first one mm-hmm. to be. But man, <laughs> High standard and it, it met the it met the expectation. Okay. Yeah, and, I, and I'm and I'm that was good. And I'm super astonished with like Matt Damon because we've got we've got to know Matt Damon over like the last like six movies that we've that we've done because we've done like so many different movies like Goodwill Hunting that he's been in mm-hmm. and and watching him play like so many different roles. Yeah. Even when he was younger up until now with this movie being 2004 and, and just seeing like his growth as an actor with him being able to play so many different roles. Even like when we watched the talented Mr. Ripley, how that mm-hmm. was just like a completely different role than what we've ever seen oh, Matt yeah. Damon play. Yep. <laughs> and I, I, I definitely got to tell you, like just from watching like a lot of these movies that he's been in, he's definitely like moving up to be like one of my favorite actors for sure. Yeah, he man, yeah. Okay, I don't yeah. mind watching either. Yeah, because when you talk, because <laughs> when you talk about top actors, like he he definitely puts himself like like in rare air, like like in a rare category you know yeah. what i mean yeah man I, I agree everything everything you just said yeah, yeah. why you why are you blinking your eyelashes at me what do you mean oh okay I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah y'all if y'all y'all gotta tap in okay should we watch part three yeah and i think the next movie? one is ultimatum okay this yeah. was really good i enjoyed this one let me know y'all did y'all think this one was better or just as good as yeah. the first one yeah or not as good as <laughs> the first one. Y'all let us know. Do we need to keep going? Because yeah. I'm telling you right now, Asia, she is enjoying these. Enjoying these. She just yeah. said, he, he, he's, he's nice to look at. Right, damn it. <laughs> That's not so what should, I said. So, that, so that, should we keep on going that, to ultimatum? That is not the word that came out yeah. of my mouth. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to say it right now. I'm de- I definitely want to see the third one. I definitely want to see too. ultimatum. I'm yeah. going to say that right now. Yeah. Y'all, y'all let us in. know. Let us know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Absolutely. If y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asian BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Absolutely. You guys take it easy.